Yet. No, we're still working on it. Come on, Mr. Egan. Have a cigar, sir. Oh, thank you, Gray. Thank you. What's the occasion? Did you get a raise? No, I just became a father. Oh. Congratulations. How's your wife? Oh, she's fine, thank you. Good. A boy or girl? Twins. Twins, huh? And you owe me another cigar. <laughs> yeah, funny after waiting so long. Everything seemed to happen so fast. We got out of the hospital. They didn't want to let us in. Well, we got in anyway. She was only in the operating theatre about a minute. I never knew a cesarean section happened so quickly. Well, an hour later, let me go and see. Oh, no more for me, Alec. I have to try. I'm going to propose a toast. What? Another one? Yeah. What to this time? Champagne. Shall I sing some more? Mm, do. <laughs> you go round the bend when you come back again. There's a jug of... <laughs> Alec Freeman, last of the clowns. I'll be with you in a minute. Where are you going at? I'll be with you in a minute. Thank you. 
the car's coming! It's all right. We probably don't know them. <laughs> New suit. New wife. New husband. New life. Reservation. Ah, yes. Uh, for my wife and I, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Straker. Ah, yes. If you'd just like to sign the register, sir. Oh. Straker, the way I figure it is, if I tell you, it won't be a secret anymore. Oh, come on, Ed. Uh, no. Where are we going? Well, now, let me see. I, uh, I got the tickets right here. I just can't make out what they say. Now, now let me see. Uh, now, London, England to... No, I just can't make out that definition. No. Could be anywhere. Let me see it. Are you expecting somebody? Compliments of the management, sir. Uh, that's quite all right, sir. I'll see you later. <laughs> well? Confetti check? Yeah, we blew it. Go away. <laughs> Close with us. I have no idea what the weather's going to be like there. As a matter of fact, I still can't remember where it is we're going. Passengers for BEA, flight number BE250 for Athens. Please proceed to gate six. Well, come on, darling. You. <laughs> How did you know? Well, I um, just happened to find a couple of tickets on the floor Two this morning. Two tickets on the floor this morning. Mm-hmm. See, I was preoccupied. Colonel I'd... Straker. Can I have a word with you, please, sir? 
It is important. Tell you. Well, what is it, Ed? I have to see General Henderson. Now. Now? Oh, but Ed. It's all right, darling. I I'm understand. So, I'm so sorry, sweetheart. I, I, I Passengers for flight number BE250 for Athens, please proceed to gate six. It's all right. I married a colonel in the military intelligence. Is part of your fatal attraction. Come in. Ah, oh, Colonel. Good to see you. Well, how are they treating you, sir? Fine, fine. Sit down. Look, I'm sorry to foul you up like this. It's all right, sir. How do your wife take it? Oh, she's fine. Yes, that's what you need in this job. An understanding wife. Well, let's get on with it, shall we? Apparently, I'm stuck in this chair for another couple of months. Now, things are happening, Ed. A lot of it's going to fall on your shoulders. The Special Committee of the United Nations meets day after tomorrow. We get the go, no go decision then. And you want me to be there? Now, who else? Would you turn around, Colonel? Ah, Colonel Straker. Gentlemen. Please sit down. Thank you. First of all, I should like to apologize on behalf of General Henderson for his absence. As you probably know, he's still recovering from injuries he received in the car crash. Thank you, Colonel. No doubt you will make an excellent substitute. Now, gentlemen, I suggest the best way for us to proceed is by a process of question and answer. Colonel, as representative of our respective governments, we are being asked to approve the largest financial appropriation ever envisaged for an international project. Two questions. Is the project, the whole project, absolutely necessary? And if it is, are we getting value for money? I believe the setting up of shadow is not only necessary, but absolutely vital. Every day we just sit about and talk about it, the potential danger increases. As to your second question, I believe this breakdown of expenditure might be helpful. Fleet of submarines, base on the moon, satellites. If I might point out, sir, we're confronted with alien spacecraft, possibly from another solar system. Maybe the General and Colonel Straker have been reading too much science fiction. The Earth is faced with a power threat from an extraterrestrial source. We've moved into an age when science fiction has become fact. We need to defend ourselves. And how long will it take to set up this defense organization? We estimate seven to ten years. Ten years? But, but you say, Colonel, the danger is imminent. Yes, sir, that's true. But the type of organization we need can't be set up overnight. 
All I say is that any delay only increases the danger. The estimate for security is astronomical. It's a vital aspect. Everything seems vital. How is Shadow to be organized um, regarding personnel? Hmm? On strictly military lines. We hope to recruit the best people available. Internationally? Yes. And who will command this international band of heroes? My government has stipulated the commander-in-chief must be an American. Oh, yes. Yes, we know. As the nation being asked to dig a little deeper into its pocket. Naturally, naturally. Gentlemen, gentlemen. We asked Colonel Straker here to answer our questions. I suggest we let him do so. Well, there's no question in my mind, gentlemen. There's only one man for the job, General Henderson. He's the obvious choice. Any further questions? Thank you, Colonel Straker. <laughs> Monsieur Duval, I understand you have three daughters. Yes. Yeah. I pray that you never find yourself looking down at one of their mutilated bodies. I hope that the next UFO incident is not in your hometown. Thank you for your time. <laughs> gentlemen it has been approved unanimously <laughs> you've done a great job Ed. well i thought i'd screwed it up sir i was only in there about 10 minutes well all you've got to do now is work 16 hours a day for the next 10 years sure oh uh there is another thing i had to tell you they appointed the commander-in-chief who you me Again, it was unanimous. Uh, it seems the French delegate, Duval, was particularly insistent. But, sir, why... Why not choose me? Oh, come on, let's not kid ourselves, Colonel. What sort of shape am I in? What sort of shape would I be in in ten years' time? Oh, nonsense, General. Well, in a couple of months, you'll be out of that thing, up and about, as fit as ever. You can always refuse. But if you do, it's got to be now. There'll be no turning back later. Todd. Huh? No, no, no. You want to know something? Mm -hmm. I love you. Steve, how much? Oh, that much? Well, this is a fine room. Plenty of scope. Yes. Now, let me see the uh, master bedroom. That's just above us here, is it? Yes. With a smaller room just to the left, if you remember. That would make a fine nursery. Yes. statement. You tired? No, I'm not too tired. Hungry? Yes. Then I'll go make you some supper. Hmm. Oh, the drapes are 
coming tomorrow. Oh, fine. I've ordered a sort of turquoise blue. Hope you like them. Turquoise blue. Oh, that that sounds great. Oh, and the insurance agent came. He's coming tomorrow evening. Oh, I'm sorry, Mary. I have to work late tomorrow. I won't be home till around oh, 11. But darling, he's coming at 8. Well, I'm sorry. I have to work. I'll go and get your supper. Send them right in. Well, gentlemen, nice to see you. How are you, General? Fine, fine. Oh, this is our first recruit, Alec Freeman. Glad to know you, Freeman. Welcome to Shadow. Thank you, sir. I've uh, glanced through your record. Combat pilot, and Air Force intelligence. That's the sort of background we need. Well, Ed, how do you like the office? Oh. Looks very nice. I've been kicked up here to keep a fatherly eye on you. I'll be holding the purse strings. Well, that sounds like it could be a lot of fun. <laughs> How is the uh, building program coming on? Oh, fine, fine. Sit down, Freeman. The studio may be worth a visit in a couple of months. From the plans, I'd say it's quite a construction job. Yes, it is. But I still think the main problem is finding the men to man it. We're working on it. Right, gentlemen. Now, let's get down to business. This could be a very late night. Hi, sweetheart. That a good book? All right. I'm sorry I didn't telephone. I got tied up. Do you know what time it is? Why didn't you go to bed? Because occasionally, just occasionally, I'd like to see my husband. Maybe even talk to him. Well, things have been pretty hectic for the past couple of weeks, but they're due to break soon, Mary. Ed, this is your home, our home. We're supposed to be trying to build something together. Oh, Mary, Mary. No, Ed. How am I expected to take this work, work, work till all hours of the day and night? Because it happens to be necessary. I suppose the next step will be is you won't bother to come home at all. Now, that's not a bad idea. Then maybe when I did get home, I'd get a decent reaction from my loving wife. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. Look, I need a break. We both need one. What do you say we go out next week sometime and... Paint the town red. What do you say? Confetti check? Are you okay? nearly finished. Yes. What'll happen to it then? Oh, it'll be used. When it's finished, a uh, government department's moving in. Income tax, probably. All that for the sake of security? Hmm. 
How else can you cover up the excavating of a couple of million cubic feet of earth? I hear they're installing a voice print identification mechanism. Yes, I tried out the prototype last week. It identified me as a female technician from Dublin. They said it was only a teething problem. Well, they could be right. Come to think of it, you do look like one. A female well, technician, technician from, from Dublin. Dublin. <laughs> nice to see you smile again, Ed. center of the whole organization. You know, Alex, setting all this up, the delays, the problems, security, personnel, a thousand details, a hundred holdups. Sometimes seems like we're fighting a ten-headed monster. And what drives you on? Fighting the monster. I don't know. Something inside me, I guess. It's called dedication. Pig-headedness would be nearer. How's Mary? Mary? She's fine, fine. No, she's not, Alex. She is. She's problem number one. Tell her. You can't do that. Not, not everything. Just, just enough for her to understand. That's impossible. She's got to know, Alec. She's got to realize how important all this is, how much time it takes. How else can I make her understand? It's out of the question, and you know it. What can I do, Alec? There must be something, or there isn't. Look, do you really want to tell Mary? You want to risk her life? That's just what you'd be doing, you know. I don't like this any more than you do, but... Well, you know what our security boys are like. Make the CIA look like a bunch of Sunday school teachers. If you told Mary and they found out, the security of all this, billions of dollars, it outweighs any individual, you, me, Mary, anybody. Well, you can't tell her. It's the safest way. It's the only way. Hello, darling. Sweetheart. Mm, looking very uh, smart tonight. Mm, thank you. How was work? Oh, about the same as yesterday and the day before that. What did you do today? Oh, nothing very much. 
drink? You know I don't drink, Harry. This is, um, an occasion. You mean... Mm-hmm. Oh. 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 Here, you... You sit down here. <laughs> uh, I have to make a phone call. But you're not going to work tonight. Oh, no, no. I, uh, I have to get on to that decorator fellow, get him in here to do up that nursery, paint it blue. Uh-uh. Pink. Blue. night and day down here, and I don't see why some fool of a subcontractor shouldn't do the same. Nothing. A week? Look, I'll give him three days to deliver. Right. Goodbye. We don't seem to be able to find the fault, sir. Well, keep checking. And don't look at me like that. You're not the only one with a home to go to. Put me through the supply. All right, switch on again. Yes, yes. All right, but let me know as soon as you can, will you? Thanks. Let's bust through the BHT wiring. Okay. Terminal 642 to 640. Negative. I'll mark it down. We got trouble on the computer interface okay, with the readout unit. Out. Oh, no. Let's hope it's just one of those plug-in circuits and nothing more serious. Nothing. Could be a dry joint. Oh, 218434. Oh, it's you, Mother. How are you? Yes. Yes, I'm fine. Yes, I went to see him today. Mm hmm He confirmed the first week in April. Of course. Ed. No, he's, um, he's working late. Yes, I know... I know, Mother, but it's his job. He... No, I... Oh, no, Mother, don't be silly. Of course there's not another woman. No... Yes, well, all right, look, I, I've got to go. I, I, I'll ring you tomorrow. Bye. Try it again. Seems fine. Okay, let's call it a day, huh? Yes, sir. Good night. Good, Good, night. Night. Good, night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, and thanks, fellas. It's pretty late. If you like, you can come back to my place. It'll save the drive. Yeah, maybe, Alec, maybe. Come on, I'll phone Mary and explain first thing in the morning. Oh, Mary. I was supposed to phone her three hours ago. Hello, Mary. Hi. How do you feel? I'm fine. Hey. 
Why aren't you in bed? I was waiting for you to come home. For four hours, waiting. What am I supposed to think? Oh, come on. No. I don't know why you bothered to come home at all. Well, why didn't you spend the whole night with her? With who? Oh, you tell me, Ed. <laughs> oh, what a crazy idea, Mary. Come on, let's go to well, Why is it a crazy idea? If it's so crazy, tell me where you've been. Come on. Where have you been? You know I can't tell you. Oh, for God's sake, Ed, break the bloody rule just for once and tell me. I'm your wife. And you know I can't tell you. How will you... Just calm down and let's go to bed. No. I have a right to know. Mary, will you stop this? What's more important to you, me? Or whatever you do until three o'clock in the morning? Hmm? I love you. I'm going to have your child. When he's born, when he's old enough to realize, will he have a father or a man he hardly knows? Someone he sees every now and then. Mary. I hope you still have a choice, Ed. Perhaps you should decide before it's too late. Well, the control complex is complete. Fully operational. All we need now are the technicians. How are the first batch of recruits making out? Oh, security checks, aptitude tests, six months training and then further tests. It's a pretty tough schedule. The original 50 have been whittled down to eight. Eight? Yes. Second batch seem to be doing a little better. Well, when can we expect the first group to finish their training? Oh, a few months. It'll be spring. Good time to start. Spring. My son will be born in the spring. Your son, how do you... My place.
It's been a long, hard slog. But we're ready. We're ready. I know how hard you've all worked. I think we can assume that the worst is over. And I want to thank you all. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Case. I'm leaving you, Ed. I've explained it all in the letter. Wait a minute. If, if something's the matter, I, I want to hear it from you, Mary. I know. Don't you understand? I know everything. What do you know? Tell me what you know. My mother had you followed. Go on. You were followed to the flat. But the girl? Is that it? Don't touch me. Mary, darling, I can explain Don't. everything. Don't. It's dirty enough. Don't lie. Mary. The man was here this morning. He, he even had a photograph with the time, oh. everything. But, Mary, darling, I can explain I it to you. I don't want to hear! Please, just listen to me, will you? Now, just give me my case. You're not going anywhere. You're going to stay right here and listen. What's going on in there? I'm coming, Dad. No way, don't you understand? I've had enough. Open All right. Door, Mary. All right, I'll, I'll tell you everything. No. Everything. It's no good, Ed. I can't take it anymore. I don't want crazy. your life. No, Please, don't, 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 don't. Mary. 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 Mary, what's the matter? Open the door, Mary. an internal hemorrhage. I take her into the theater now, but I shall have to perform a cesarean section. Now, doctor, if there's any complication, I mean, if you have to choose between my wife and the... I understand.
It's a boy. How's my wife? The doctor will be out in a moment. Is she, Doctor? As well as can be expected. She'll be all right? Yes. When can I see her? Well, when she wakes up, but only for a few minutes. How's my son? He's fine. Ed. Ed said he had to go. He uh, said he couldn't tell me why. I know why. How so? You just get well again and we'll sit down quietly with your mother and have a chat. Sorry about this, Ed. You know I wouldn't have done it if it hadn't been absolutely necessary. Anyway, congratulations. You're the expert, Randa. Look who's talking. You got two for the price of one, first time. Well, it's too much cigar smoke around here, Alec. Tell somebody to turn on the fan and get rid of it. Right. Lieutenant Gray. Yes, sir. Take a week's furlough starting now. But, sir. That's an order. Right, sir. As for the rest of us, let's do a little work while we celebrate. Thank you. 